To all the atheists who are watching this, just a warning, this video might trigger you because you won't be able to call the Bible a fairy tale anymore. You won't be able to say we have an imaginary sky daddy because our sky daddy isn't imaginary. He's here and he's moving and his name is Jesus Christ. <laughs> but man, it's so crazy how the Bible keeps getting proven to be true over and over and over again. God is really trying to reach out to his creation and just the evidence is overwhelming for the fact that God really did that. <laughs> like God is really him for real. What's going on guys? It's Big Nick back for another video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel today. Before we get into today's video, if you guys like Christian content, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel down below if you are new, and turn on my post notifications notifications so you never miss a new video. Without further ado, let's get into it. The split rock of Horeb recorded in the Bible story of Exodus was discovered in Saudi Arabia and the archaeological evidence is shocking. When Moses led the Israelites out of Egypt to the promised land, they were complaining about how thirsty they were, as well as doubting God's ability to provide for them. Let's read this biblical miracle in full by reading Exodus 17 1 through 6. Then all the congregation of the children of Israel set out on their journey from the wilderness of sin according to the commandment of the Lord and camped to Rephidim. But there was no water for the people to drink. Therefore the people contended with with Moses and said, give us water that we may drink. So Moses said to them, why do you contend with me? Why do you tempt the Lord? And the people thirsted there for water and the people complained against Moses and said, why is it you have brought us up out of Egypt to kill us and our children and our livestock with thirst? So Moses cried out to the Lord saying, what shall I do with this people? They are almost ready to stone me. And the Lord said to Moses, Go on before the people and take with you some of the elders of Israel. Also take in your hand your rod with which you struck the river and go. In Exodus 17, 6, God says to Moses, Behold, I will stand before you there on the rock in Horeb, and you shall strike the rock and water will come out of it, that the people may drink. And Moses did so in the sight of the elders of Israel. Now check this. As archaeologists stumbled across this peculiar rock structure in Saudi Arabia, they noticed a unique formation of a giant rock being split into two. What's even more intriguing is that this was the only rock structure in the entire desert of al Abad, Saudi Arabia to have water erosion directly surrounding the landmark. Erosion in this desert is virtually impossible considering that the desert only gets one tenth of an inch of rainfall every year. Meanwhile the rock is 60 feet tall so you can put two and two together and realize that a tenth of an inch of rainfall is not going to cause erosion on a rock. I mean Let's just use common sense. <laughs> so what was it? It was the water that God had flow through the rock so the Israelites could drink. I'm telling you, God keeps taking dubs out here. Biblical scholars have unanimously agreed that Saudi Arabia fits the geographical location as the voyage that Moses and the Israelites took in order to get to the promised land. Scientists have also agreed that this rock is identical with the biblical account of the split rock of Horeb, now making it a recognized national landmark across the world. As knowledge is more accessible and increasing to mankind, the Bible keeps proving itself as a legitimate history book. God is real and has already proved himself time and time again to this world. So let this be a wake-up call to stop playing games with your eternal soul and surrender your life to Jesus Christ while you still have time. If you want to be saved and know for sure that you're going to heaven, it first starts with the realization that your works will not get you into God's kingdom. You can't do good works to outweigh the bad works, and you can't just be a good person to go to heaven. That's not how the system of the kingdom of God is set up. We live in a world separated from God due to our sin, which all started when the fall of mankind took place in the Garden of Eden when Adam and Eve rebelled against God. And there is nothing we can do on our own to pay the penalty for our sin. But God requires perfection in order to be in right standing with him because he is holy and he cannot look at iniquity. That's why Jesus Christ came down as God in human form and lived the perfect life by never sinning so he could be the substitute for the penalty that we deserve for sinning against God. This is why he died on a cross and rose again. That should have been us on the cross but instead Jesus paid the fine. And he rose again to defeat death which had a grip on mankind because when you die on this earth that's not really where death starts true death is the eternal soul going to hell forever now for those who believe in jesus as lord and make it a mission to walk like he walked god the father views us as perfect as he views his son jesus christ it's not by our own works that we are perfect and righteous in front of the eyes of the father it's all what jesus did and nothing of what we did when god looks at you he sees you clothed with the spiritual garment that his son also wears the garment of royalty and majesty and righteousness. When we repent of our sins and we ask Jesus to forgive us of our sins, we now take this royal garment, which God the Father can look at us now and see us as perfect as him. Jesus was given authority to forgive sins. So when we repent of our sins to Jesus, God completely washes us clean of all of our sins. And we can now enter into a relationship with him, which was previously not possible due to the veil that was between us, the sinful human race, and a perfect holy creator. Jesus is the only way to God and there is no other way that we can have a relationship 
relationship with God outside of Jesus. It's just not possible. Jesus Christ is calling you home and he's calling you into relationship with him and his father. And when we walk with Jesus Christ, we receive the Holy Spirit, which is the spirit of God that leads us into all truth. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Leave a comment saying Jesus is real down below. If this archaeological evidence of the split rock of Horeb is as fascinating to you as it is to me. If you want to financially sow into this ministry, you can do so by checking the link in the description where I have a link that allows you to give on multiple different financial platforms. Or you can also buy my merch that I released a couple weeks ago. That is also linked in the description or it's below the video here in that little shelf thing. Anyways, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I love you guys so much. May God bless all of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take care and peace out. Ain't a game, Jesus who I claim. Yeah, he reigns, cross up on my chain. Brand new lane, heaven my domain. The world I gain, but 